Hello everybody. I've made this documentary on the uh, sustainability of the U.S. Uh, shrimp farming industry. Uh, U.S. has put way too many regulations. We cannot compete on a global market. I've put this together just as a little thing to show you how they what they go through for shrimp farming. These are the little baby shrimp. They're trying to get out of there. <laughs> These are the little baby shrimps. They put them, okay, in here. You're gonna plant them so they can grow, take care of them, of course. They fill up these little troughs, and it's uh, kind of cool in a way. You can see them squirming in there. And like here, like they're just trying to climb right on out. This is the holes that they're gonna come out of when they go. But if you'll watch, they're just, they're just climbing right on out. These little babies are ready to grow. Nice, beautiful orange color. Uh, you know, they're gonna uh, remain that orange color while they're underground if they're real healthy. Here we are farming them and feeding them, and planting them. And it's a lot of work. With durable, efficient irrigation equipment, you can make the most of the land you farm. A lot of water. Soil pivots and linears allow you to easily rotate your crops and reduce the need for tillage. They can also help mitigate environmental challenges such as soil erosion and salinity problems, leading the way to more consistent Shrimp need a lot of water. And feeding. You have to cultivate constantly feeding your shrimp and watering them. It takes a lot of water and a lot of food. People don't understand that. Now you're gonna see their orange, the little orange pupae we're fixing to, uh, I'm gonna show you the uh, cultivation here where we're pulling the pupae out of the ground. It's actually very gentle and see, you, you can see the bright orange and they'll uh, remain that way for a few hours um, until they uh, are, once they're exposed to the air, they kind of change this gray kind of a color, especially once they remove the, uh, the, the, the little cask that these pupae are in, um, then you'll see the gray, the gray color and everything like that. But with the regulations, we're just not able to do enough and uh, even though we do grow the uh, highest grade of shrimp uh, in the world, actually. Now here, uh, let's see, okay, they're removing the casks, okay. These are where they remove the shrimps out of the casks. They're washing them, let's see. Yeah, they're, they're working on them taking out all the bad ones here and it's a continuous wash system that they have going washing the little shrimps and you can see they've changed into their normal color now Pineus vanime, the pacific white shrimp Pineus monodon the black tiger shrimp and Pineus chinensis the chinese white shrimp each of these species is readily cultured to market size in four to six months using established procedures and all receive a high value in the world market. The United States is a relatively small competitor in the international multi-billion dollar business of shrimp farming. While U.S. producers have immediate access to America's shrimp market, this market, open to international trade, is highly competitive. The potential is there for long-range growth but it will require efficient and innovative techniques in production and marketing. Shrimp farming should not be considered an easy money business. Marketing is one of the most overlooked yet essential aspects of shrimp farming. If shrimp are sold as a standard commodity item... We have to call our representatives to remove the federal regulations from the Texas shrimp farmers. ...in a specific way. For example, rather than a five-pound cardboard box designed now. for the 
distribution, the founder might arrange to have his product packed in a one-pound transparent vacuum pack for retail distribution.